Hey everyone, from turtles with shells that are more like leather to moles with strange looking noses, here are nine of the most unusual animals that it's hard to believe are real. Number nine, proboscis monkey. You might think that the proboscis monkey's ginormous, strangely shaped nose is unattractive, but the species females certainly don't think so. In fact, their noses are an integral part of these monkeys' mating rituals. The way this works is that their noses block their mouths, acting as a sort of echo chamber that serves to louden their natural calls. When the ladies hear this, they swoon, and other monkeys in the species know that they've been beat. Before finding mates, however, these monkeys live among other bachelors, separate from the female population. Their noses are without a doubt their most striking feature, but the proboscis monkey has a few other notable features. For one thing, they're the best swimmers of all primates in the world. You can look up videos of them jumping into the water in awkward flops for yourself. Their hands and feet are webbed, which helps them to outswim crocodiles, one of their primary predators. Their tails are also nearly as long as their bodies. Number 8. Hummingbird Moth the hummingbird moth is so big that many people who see them flying around their gardens actually mistake them for hummingbirds. Have you ever seen a moth that big? Well, that's not the only similarity these gigantic moths share with hummingbirds. They also move in a very similar manner. This moth will fly in front of flowers and remain there by flapping their wings rapidly, so fast that they even sound out a low hum, just like hummingbirds. Through convergent evolution, hummingbird moths earned all of these similarities with hummingbirds. Its diet is also similar to that of the hummingbird. A lot of the time, hummingbirds eat flowers that have petals that are shaped like tubes. And wouldn't you know it, so does the hummingbird moth. There are a lot of hummingbird moths throughout the world. In total, there are four species of them in North America. You've probably actually seen one of them before in real life, but you might have just mistook it for the bird. Number 7. Pyrenean Desmond If you thought the platypus was weird, then the Pyrenean Desmond is sure to surprise even further. It looks a lot like a mix between a mole and a platypus. While the feet at the front are small, its back feet are large and webbed. They're also really tiny, and they tend to grow up to the size of a hamster on a good day. And a ton of that size is devoted to their huge noses. Their bodies are well adapted to the rivers and marshes where they live. They're excellent swimmers because of their feet, and their noses are great at sniffing out prey. We know that they're nocturnal, and that they eat tiny river invertebrates. But other than that, we don't know much else. Because of their size, they're really hard to find. And to add insult to injury, they're also mostly nocturnal, so you won't be able to just come upon one on an everyday hike. Interestingly, in ancient times, there was a ton of creatures like the Desmond, but as evolutionary time passed, their numbers dwindled. The Desmonds are the end of a long lineage of such creatures, and researchers are hoping that studying them will help us understand how such creatures thrived, and how we can best protect their descendants. And now for number 7, but first be sure to subscribe if you're new here, and let me know your favourite animal in the comments below. Number 6. Leafy Sea Dragon If you don't look for too long, you might mistake the leafy sea dragon for a patch of sea flora, but you would be woefully mistaken. In fact, these creatures are far livelier than a bed of foliage, although their appearance does enable them to hide among all the coral reefs where they tend to reside. Since they look a lot like leaves, they can simply conceal themselves next to algae, and none of their predators have any idea. They likely developed this camouflage ability because they're not particularly adept at swimming. Thus, blending in was of paramount importance in surviving encounters with predators. They pretty much eat plankton alone, but they sometimes attack and eat small prey. Because they have such big heads and tiny mouths, they can suck in their prey effortlessly. You might think that the leafy sea dragon is a close cousin to the seahorse, but they're more akin to a pipefish than anything else. You can see some of these for yourself at many aquariums, but there are threatened species due to being randomly caught in fishing nets while looking for other fish. Divers also collect them for private aquariums, but they're a very delicate animal and often die in a fish tank. Given their strange appearance, they're sure to amaze when you see one up close. Have you ever seen one before? Let me know down below. 
Number 5. Panda Crocodile These crocodiles may look like a strange hybrid between pandas and crocs, but don't be fooled. It's not a separate species, but rather just a few crocodiles painted like pandas. This is all part of a strange craze where various kinds of animals are painted to look like pandas. This is because pandas are something of a rarity, so painting an animal to look like one helps bring more people to view them. I know, a bit random, right? Here's how this particular brand of panda lookalike came into being. When the panda Li Ping was born at the Chiang Mai Zoo, located around the north of Thailand, onlookers came in droves to see the new panda. However, most of the other exhibits were receiving dwindling views. Because of that, all the other exhibits were trying to outdo one another to get attendance back up to par, hence the painted crocodiles. At the Samut Prakan Crocodile Farm in Taiban, Thailand, officials there also painted crocodiles to attract people to their croc farm, which contains over 60,000 crocodiles. They were placed in the disabled crocodile section, which contains many strange kinds of crocs. This is all a PR stunt and a way to capitalise on the amount of buzz generated by a newborn panda. Man, humans can be random. Number 4. Softshell Turtle Softshell turtles do have shells, but if you felt them, you wouldn't think much of it. That's because their shells are smooth and leathery, more like an animal hide than a thick armour we expect of most turtles. Their shells don't have the kind of scales, called epidermal scutes, that sea turtles have for instance. But for all that, there are tons of softshell turtles in the world today. In fact, the spiny softshell turtle rivals all other species of turtles in terms of sheer population in North America. They're also known by their strangely long necks. These come in handy though. Many softshell turtles hang out in shallow waters and mud, and they can extend their long necks just above the surface of the water to keep breathing. Without their distinctive armour, how do these turtles make a living? Actually, they're hunters. Seemingly unfazed by their lack of protection, they seek out their prey and trap them. Finally, softshell turtles also have a distinctive flat shape. While this may seem odd at first glance, it actually helps them swim quite fast. Did you know there were turtles without hard shells? It's strange to think, but there are a lot of them out there. Number 3. Blobfish The absolutely named Blobfish isn't going to win a beauty contest anytime soon. When scientists on the Norfans expedition in the northwestern waters of New England first discovered this fish in 2003, they named it Mr. Blobby. And for good reason. This fish was never meant to leave the deep sea where it lives. Above the water, its skin is so blobby because 4,000 feet below the sea, the pressure would make it look like just a regular fish. In contrast to other fish, blobfishes don't have air bladders that enable most fish to stay buoyant. It would get crushed in deep waters. For support, the blobfish relies on water itself, its body being less dense than the water around it. Because of these facts, the blobfish tend to remain stationary, so they just float along, waiting for smaller things to pass them by. When that happens, they open their mouths and inhale them in. Moving doesn't even help them catch their prey, so why bother? Sounds like a pretty easy life. It probably doesn't even care that everyone seems to think it's the ugliest fish in the world. You can even see Mr. Blobby for yourself at the Australian Museum Collection. Number 2. Star-Nosed Mole the star-nosed mole is well known and arguably infamous for the strange star-shaped organ on their snout. It might look like something out of a horror movie, but it actually serves as a vital tool for this mole. It's the most sensitive touching sensory organ of every animal on Earth. It contains over 100,000 nerve fibres. That's more than five times the amount in our hands. In an area even tinier than the tip of a finger. It's so touchy that we haven't even found the threshold beneath which these fibres light up. Like other moles, the star-nosed mole is pretty much blind. But weirdly enough, the spot at the centre of their staria pendants, called the touch fovea, operates a lot like our visual system does, neurologically speaking. The centre seems to focus on things in much the same way as our eyes. 
This would mean that natural selection can create analogous kinds of sensory organs, even when they're operating from different senses like smell and touch. The star-nosed mole spends its life underground and in the water, using its big claws to dig around looking for prey. When they swim underwater, they're even able to smell by blowing bubbles up at things and sucking them back up. They're able to tell what's in front of them. This is the only indication of any animal that can smell underwater. They also eat faster than every mammal in the world. It seems that this strange looking creature holds a lot of mysteries. Number 1. Sparkle Muffin and Skeletorus Peacock Spiders A few years ago, Madeleine Girard, a grad student at UC Berkeley, discovered a couple new species of peacock spiders in Queensland, Australia. Although their official titles are Maritus jacatus, she named one of them Sparkle Muffin, based on its beautiful coloration or blue and red stripes along its belly and the other, Skeletorus, based on the white marks against its black body. Peacock spiders are known for their bright and lively colour schemes, but these new discoveries knock the ones we already knew out of the water. While Sparkle Muffin looks a lot like formerly discovered peacock spiders, with the dial raised to 11, Skeletorus is distinctive, making researchers think that these spiders are a diverse group. However, peacock spiders have distinctive features aside from their looks alone. For one thing, they're jumping spiders, which means they don't spin webs to capture prey, but rather hunt them. But most notably, they engage in strange mating rituals involving a complicated dance. When trying to mate, male peacock spiders show a part of their body called the fan, which is a flap that has intricate designs and stripes on it. In addition to this, they'll raise one of their legs and show the female, and all of this happens super fast. When one researcher, Jurgen Otto, saw a Skeletorus mating dance, he was astounded at the energy that this spider displayed, flexing and dancing to its heart's content. Thanks to everyone for watching. What's the weirdest looking animal on this list to you? Let me know down in the comments below. Make sure to like this video and click that notification bell to stay up to date on all the newest videos from Epic Wildlife. See you next time.